Okay, next we are going to use this sewing tool. So when it comes to sewing, we have two options, guys. We can either use the auto sewing tool or we can sew it by hand. Let me show you the hand sewing first. To sew this dress, simply go to this segment sewing tool, click on that, and I'm going to come over here to this 3D window so we get to see it better. And I'm going to click right here and then click right here to sew it too. Simply click right here and click right here to sew it too and repeat this step. However, I can use the auto sewing tool in Close 3D. Simply delete all these sewing first, okay? Go to this edit sewing tool, click on that and just simply Mikey selects all that sewing and then I can either right click and then delete the sewing and I made a mistake. Instead of right click, I deselect all the sewing which is I'm going to my key select on that again and I can press delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete. Okay, let me press on number two once again to see the front view. Now I can come over here and use this auto sewing function. Simply come over here. See the sewing machine next to the avatar? Click on that to bring this auto sewing window and we have option here. So garment type top, that is perfect. Dress, no open or open. So front type, is it open? No, it's not open. I'm going to click on close front. And we have color, seam, auto, perfect. We don't have color, so close and auto, that's perfect. And garment type, select top is perfect. Or you can click on the arrow to see what else. So we have pen, we have skirt, and this is top is perfect. Next, I'm going to click on OK and just like that, guy, one click. Now the dress sewn perfectly. Okay, next I'm going to do one more thing before we simulate this dress, okay? Simply go to the transform pattern tool, click on that. My key selects all these, right click and I want to select strengthen. After that, I will come over here to this 3D window and click on the simulation icon to simulate. Okay. So now the dress kind of fall off. To fix this issue, I'm going to click on that simulation icon once again to stop. Then I'm going to my key select both of the dress, right click, and I'm going to select right here, reset 3D arrangement, okay? So before I'm going to press on the simulation icon, I'm going to adjust the dress close to the avatar first. So press on number two, Next, I'm going to rotate the dress to the left, simply pressing on Command or Control and then right click to rotate. Then I'm going to click on that front pattern and then adjust it in a little bit here. I will do the same with the back side. Click and then drag it in. So then drag it to the left, then drag it to here. So press on number two once again and then we want to drag it over here. So close but not too close because right here, that's what we don't want. We want it out a little bit. Okay, so let me pan the workspace over here to further to the front, simply pressing on Option All, left click and then pan. And I'm going to click on that pattern and you see this gizmo pop up. I will kind of click on the blue circle and then kind of turn it in forward a little bit and then click on the gizmo and then bring it in a little bit further okay now let's try simulate again there you go so i hit the simulation and i hit it one again to stop quickly okay so okay now we can see some issue here a ham hole a little bit too big the next a little bit big but it's okay but the ham hole is have to be smaller so we have some solution here. Either we adjust this to bring it up or we cut this to bring it down, okay? So would you want more convenient or make the dress fit better, we'll do that. So let me zoom in. So the neck is a little bit big already. We have to adjust it from the armhole here. And to do that, simply using this awesome tool we call Edit Pattern Tool. Click on that and I'm going to click on that point there. Okay, first of all, let me switch the window to only 2D window here, okay? Come down here and click on this 2D window only and we get to see the entire pattern. Okay, the advantage of 
pattern linked together. We only need to do it one pattern. It will affect both. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to click, press on shift and letter D and then right click. Next, I'm going to type in two centimeter, then click on OK. All right. So I can see right here now both arm hole decreased by two centimeter. I will do the same here. Simply click on that point, press on shift and letter D and then drag it up, right click and then type in two centimeter. After that, I'm going to click on OK. Now I'm going to come down here and then click on the reset window. OK, reset layout. There you go. Next, I'm going to simply rotate to the left and press on number two. I'm going to switch the tool to transform pattern tool. My key selects the pattern and adjust up a little bit further. And now I'm going to press on the space bar to simulate. There you go. The same right here. So it actually looks pretty good. And click on the simulation icon to stop the simulation. Let me press on number two here to see the front view. So next, let's say we like the concept of the dress. Okay. The next, the armhole looks pretty decent. But we want to see how the dress behave with applying different fabric onto the dress. Okay. To do that, simply go over here to this fabric folder under the library tab. Double click on that. And I'm going to, let's say I want to apply the cotton flush. Simply click and drag onto that fabric right there. Fabric one. And now the fabric is applied. I'm going to press on the space bar here to simulate and press it once again to stop. Now I'm going to markly select both of these pattern, right click and select unstrengthen. Okay. Then click once again to simulate and I'm going to press on number two. By the way, guys, this dress is a concept dress where it allows us to use the essential tool for a pattern maker. Next course, I will show you how to draft an A-line skirt using the traditional pattern drafting method in Close 3D.